Welcome to the last painting for a special four-piece commission and the color palette today in order that I will be pouring the colors. Crazy white, I got some dark turquoise again, a sort of purple-ish, mulberry-ish color. These two I created using the little DecoArt Americana small bottles. I mixed two or three colors for both. Got some gold and some black for on top. Okay, so I want to try and do something similar to the last painting like this that I did, except with maybe less, less white around it. A lot of people have been asking me where I've been getting my satin enamel since it's once again out of stock everywhere. And you guys, I'm still on my same bottles that I bought a year ago. I have about one and a half bottle left. Okay. This is the color that is in, literally in the dental office at the entrance. Everything is white. And then there's this color. It's so pretty. Okay, I want to go half-half like I did the other one. Keep some. Crap, I think the colors aren't close enough together. Doesn't matter. And then this. Okay, my, my one puddle is pretty screwed up, but it doesn't matter because what's important is, uh, is how the black, especially, the black needs to be spread everywhere. So interesting. Now for the black. Scary, right? I'm going to put the whole thing. All right. So I have these little yogurt cups that I've been trying to like pour some of the paint in it, even though it's still going to splash everywhere. <laughs> I'm already feeling this side first. So I'm going to go that side and then I'll see. Yeah. And then this side. And then let's cover the whole thing. There is a lot of black. Holy, I can't, I'm not even close to that cup there, but it's heavy. I'm going to pour a lot of the paint off because there's a ton of black in this one. Continue pouring it off. There. Look at the cells forming. <laughs> So I think that since I poured that side off first, I will have more of the blue rather than the mulberry color. I forgot again to put my line through it. God damn it. Okay, so as you can see, well, as you can see what's in my head, I'm kidding. Um, this area here is where I'm going to be attacking with some color. It's still very early though. It's been only like two minutes. Um, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Boom.
Something a bit scary. That is gonna, that is gonna like gonfle, gonfle in English. I forgot the word. this mix to make it spread like like crazy is really a lot of satin enamels in there that's the satin enamels like to start getting this reaction here which is gonna you see that that's gonna continue spreading like crazy and um yeah i use a lot of the satin enamels for that so i just added some in my cup you guys so I'm pretty happy with it now there's just this purple line there that's bugging me and I have a feeling that I'm not patient enough to wait god damn so I'm going to try something What if I'm back? This is I gave it some time just to be sure because I had a feeling that this here would morph some more and it kind of became what I wanted it to become which is more white now there is uh, I didn't say it, but this is like 45 minutes later and I really worked at this one and there's like so much going on we got the ghost cells those big ones there. I'm calling them ghost cells because they I find they look like the ghosts from Bowser's castle. The reaction over there that's creepy slash cool. And then the color palette is like spot on. 
So yeah, there's like so much going on, but I find at the same time that it seems to balance itself out. Right? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna be probably doing once it's dried is paint over those little lines there to smooth that area out. Like I did with the other one. Let's go in and see some madness right here. That was my foot, by the way. I didn't fart. Imagine I farted on YouTube. There's just nothing to say. I'm just like showing you guys how fun this is to look at. Deco art is the coolest paint for reactions. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the final result. It's perfect. It dried beautifully. And I am in love with the wave here. I probably said that in like the other part of my video that I forgot of because this is like a week later. So I finished all of the paintings and I varnished them. But I got some news yesterday. My client would like me to start over the first painting that I did. I'm going to show you. So there's this painting and then there's that one. And there's this one, which is the first one that I did. And there's too much black in it for the dental office. Now I sort of went with uh, the vibe in the moment and I really find this is a beautiful painting, but she would like to not have any black. And I get it, you know? So I'm taking you back to today's super cool and interesting painting. And I'm going to be adding that other one um, on my website. It's going to be for sale. I just want you guys to see, like, with my little table. Isn't it cool? I love this setup here. Stay tuned for the next and final painting this time.